Okay, we are going to be getting ready for Florence in a few minutes. But first... When I made the difficult decision to not go home at Christmas, I knew there was only one place I wanted to go. Florence. But I started to feel a little bit sorry for myself. And what's the one thing you do when you feel sorry for yourself? You treat yourself. We all know I like to treat myself. We all know that money and me are not best friends. But that's okay, because you and I, my friends, little cocker spaniel, are going on a first class train journey to Florence. How much money did I spend? We don't need to talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. But what we do need to talk about is, was it worth it? And should you be forking out the extra money to go first class on a train with your pooch? Let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm not looking forward to this packing. Collapsible bowls. Three days worth of food. For me, my mocha pot. Because I'm not sure if the Airbnb has one. The rest is left to faith. Run away, run away, run away to your escape. this monstrosity of a bag but I think I'm going to have to to be safe with the dog food because this is my other option and it's not as big oh dear I haven't used this suitcase since I left Ireland oh my god emotional Just in case. I'm looking for so much more. Don't leave me here searching. Get just what I'm longing for. When times are getting crazy and everything seems hazy, is there some place for safety I could go? Uh, this actually turned out to be a little more difficult than I expected. Ooh, I'm okay, so we have for this which is going to be tomorrow's outfit. It's quite bulky, and I'll be wearing my black jacket and scarf over it. Then we have this, which is my Florence jumper. I know, wearing a Florence jumper in Florence, very original. And that's going to be Christmas day. But I also have this black polo neck, my vintage jacket, which could be Christmas day as well. It's actually embarrassing that Cloda is leaving for two weeks, and she has gotten the same amount that I have in my suitcase for two days. Look, I just know I'm going to be taking pictures and stuff and I just don't want to look silly. But anyway, I have to pack my suitcase now and I'm like, or my school bag and I don't even know what, I don't even know what bag I need to pack right now. Where's the dog gone? Albert. I haven't taken out the suitcase since I left Ireland. So it's kind of like, oh God, I haven't seen you in a while, suitcase. But yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Tomorrow we are traveling on a business class, first class ticket. I can't wait to see what the experience is like. Okay, it was expensive, but like, treat yourself, who cares? And we'll see. I haven't bought a ticket back home yet, so I'm waiting to see. If I really love the experience, I will fork out the extra 100 euro for a train ticket back. <laughs> YOLO. Good morning, you filthy animals. It's Christmas Eve, and we are getting ready to go to Florence. And it happens every time I want to go on a big trip. I've just woken up and just been like totally overwhelmed by all the filming I need to do. And I don't need to do it, sorry, obviously I want to do. So it, it's a nice overwhelm if there is a, such a thing as nice overwhelm. Our train leaves at half twelve today. Cloda leaves at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna take my time getting ready this morning and try and finish packing. Excuse me a bit, try and finish packing the bags. Just for good measure, I'm bringing the coffee. I'm bringing it.
has left for Ireland and Albert's a little bit confused as to why I was a little bit confused as to why she's not going with her, but we're not going to think about it, okay? Time to get makeup on, and I know I'll be super early for the train. Let's get ready, let's go. Okay, in my defense, the bag looks a lot more bulky than it is, and I had to get rid of the bottle of water for the tripod. The things I do for the YouTube, huh? Huh? We are on our way. I forgot how awkward it was to have a suitcase with a dog. Especially a dog that likes. Disaster! Disaster! We're watching Santa and Mr. Ray go on a big Vespa tour of the country. There's a bloody lot of stairs, okay? But that's fine, Massimo or me. I haven't been up to the bedroom yet. Oh my God. Okay, you will find out all of this in the apartment tour that will be coming in the new year because obviously I'm not gonna do an apartment tour now while I'm here, because that's dangerous. But, oh my God. Wow. Wow. But okay, we're not even gonna unpack yet. We're not even gonna do anything yet. We are going to go straight and get some groceries and fill up this fridge for the don't look at the view um oh, i keep forgetting their steps here i'm gonna fill up this fridge for the rest of the week i will tell you no word of a lie i just heard an american look up at a statue and say what perfect little pubes why do i get the feeling like this will be a great lesson on learning how to be by myself judy mac the size of this you ready to eat okay new new year's resolution is to stop going on travel days where i don't actually eat anything and then the minute i have an apple spritz it goes straight to my head oh we have to do this tomorrow this has to be done and there you have it folks that is the day i'm gonna wrap up recording there because i am a little bit burnt out with recording thinking about all the things walking around the city today i've been like i need to film this i need to film this i need to film this so we're gonna get a good crack at it between christmas day and stephen's day but for now let's discuss italo tran let's discuss the pros the cons and am i going to be paying another hundred and something euro to go back home on an Italo train? The answer, short and simple, is yes. I probably will, and I'm going to go do that now in a few moments. Because, to be honest, when I said that was the quietest train journey of my life, it was the quietest train journey 
of my life it was amazing i absolutely adored the quietness literally every time we got to a new station the announcement said you must turn off your phones or turn down the volume because people are trying to relax and i don't know if that's just because i was in the first class section and maybe that's because in the first class section it is quieter and i know there's a lot of uh, carriages that are no sound carriages but it was definitely worth it number two with Italo Treno, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so I'm sorry if I'm not. It was amazing because because I said I was with a dog, they automatically put me into the train. They automatically put me on the seat where there was only one person and there was nobody beside me and I had lots of space. Straight away, the minute I sat down, an attendant also came up to me and gave me a blanket for Albert to lie on. Now, obviously, that I know is not out of the kindness of their hearts. They obviously want dogs who shed to stay on the blanket because that way they don't have to clean up the hairs on the carpet. But it was still so, so nice to be able to have a place for Albert to lie down and to get comfortable in and to have the water bowl on and all that and it was no stress whatsoever really really liked it the workers in the Italo were so kind to Albert like literally I would have to do the awkward like <laughs> working 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 <laughs> you're still it's five minutes and you're still hugging and petting my dog what are you doing so that was quite intense <laughs> and I mean that in the most loving way possible so yeah, I'm going to go right now and buy my new train ticket. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's Christmas Eve. I'm so busy trying to get groceries sorted and to get things sorted. There is a frying pan here, but there's no oil. So I'm kind of between, do I get a nice meaty meal with oil, buy oil or do I just buy pasta? I think I'm just gonna buy pasta, to be honest. I know that's not a nice Christmas meal, but I will have lovely Christmas meals when I go home. Walking here around the town has changed my original plan for tomorrow and St. Stephen's Day. So I'm looking forward to where that plan takes us. I cannot get over the amount of places that are going to be open tomorrow. That's crazy. So we'll talk about all that in the next vlog. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I will leave you on this video. Hopefully it'll be playing over my voice now. There is no plan, but keep your head in the clouds and always land on your feet. Good night. Buon Natale. Kiss your loved ones. Have a drink. Do something. If you don't celebrate Christmas, have a nice night. Bye. Take me home.